Well, hey everybody, this is Wild Dandelion Jen. Yes, I've been missing in action and this is what I've been up to. As I shared with you before, last a couple of weeks ago, I did a local fair in our community and we have uh, the sister community that's right next door, which is actually the town that I live in. They're doing a fair this weekend. And so I'm gonna be part of that as well. So I've been, between being sick and these two events two weeks apart, I've been replenishing stock and adding new products for this new community fair. It's the same community that I wanna open up a shop in, so I wanted to really display the different varieties of crafts and things that I make outside of soap, but it all falls in line with the body care theme and with beautifying yourself. So it's usually accessories or things that you might use in health and beauty care. So I also took note of things that were top sellers at the last fair and what the people in my community like, want, and desire. And so I've added some of those products to be some of the eye candy at my booth to attract people to come in. And part of the ribbons is there's lots of children here and lots of girls that like to dress up and certainly on Sundays or to go to school or special events. And so I made these hair bows and then um, I kind of upscaled them a little bit more than some of the other uh, bows that were offered, but the bows sell really, really well. And I have a granddaughter who wears bows probably every day of her life. And so I made the first bow for her and that kind of gave me a little bit of experience in the bow making and then I went and got more supplies and this is the result right here that I'm sharing with you. And then I used a bunch of my scrap fabrics and vintage sheets and made these cute little tissue holders so that you could put them around your house or in your purses and you can change colors depending on the bag that you're carrying or just your mood for that day so you can pick up a few of them. That's basically what I had in mind. There's nothing worse than having your Kleenex get all messed up in your purse by just letting them free float around and that was always a struggle for me. So I made some of these really cute little holders up and uh, I think that'll be great. And next we have my terracotta discs. These are two and uh, two up to three inch size. They have holes so that you can hang them. Think about gym bags, lockers for the kids. If they have a sick bug or studying for a test, you can put essential oils on them. They can wear them around their neck. These are larger ones, great for baseboards and windows and pantries and closets, putting them in shoes to keep spiders out. And that's my big wild dandelion soap one. You can put this in a cup holder to help absorb the moisture off your cups. You can put essential oils on those as well. So when you put a hot cup on there, it releases that into the air or the heat of the car. Those are just really beautiful. And I love the terracotta di discs and they sold very well at the last sale. And then uh, that's gonna be really nice. Loved how that turned out. How cute. Great soap stamp. And then you can see the little wood discs that my husband cut and I'm gonna leave those rough and raw and I'm gonna put a soap bar on them. That's gonna be my display dish. And so I'm not gonna do any polishing up. I just wanted it to be rustic with all the saw cuts in it. I've let those cure for about a year. So I love these discs. I think they're gonna be great for kids. If they gotta study for a test, they can wear it around their neck, put some peppermint and bergamot and sweet orange on it. Or if they have a sick bug or a fever or a headache, peppermint. Uh, and they could just breathe that throughout the day, even thieves oil. Or like I said, they could put them in their gym bag, in their locker. They're just a really neat idea. Absolutely love them, they're so sweet. I think the moms are really gonna like these for their kids and certainly for their pantry. Now what I'll be working on today is this was my old sign on poster board. It is now going to be painted on this beautiful corrugated steel and that's gonna be hung with that rustic rope. And I've got this sweet, sweet little dandelion that I found at Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna put that and glue gun it on the corrugated steel over in the corner. And then I have a few other little items that I picked up that I thought might look really cute, just glued up on the other side, very rustic. So that'll be a lot of fun, great project today. 
and my table I've covered with some burlap to make those rustic and warm and I've got this really neat burlap ribbon that I'm going to run across the front just going to make everything much more polished and I think I'm going to have a lot of fun in the future doing these there's my avocado seed jewelry I got a really neat display they'll be coming off that tray and let's walk over here and show you the tra uh, hanger that I got so I'll be able to hang all those and then I'll just probably lean it up against the table I got a couple of new tables really long ones and a chair and that's just going to accommodate a lot more product and uh, when you run out of space below you go up so I got some really neat uh, racks that I'm going to be able to bring on top of the table which is right down here and I'll put bath bombs and salt melts and different things in those and get those elevated so those are pretty cute we'll come back around here all my headbands got my allergy medical alert bands that I designed for the alpha gal allergy some dandelions on fire coasters I'll probably give away with sales and then down here we've just got some of my product sample sizes little grab bags those are salt scrub bars toothbrushes and just miscellaneous stuff that goes with my tooth soaps little soap savers washcloths other soap savers and there's all my soaps I'm going to put some neat little uh, door stoppers underneath to elevate the trays up so they're not flat down on the table those will go on the wood cutters but see if I elevate that up it's just much more visible and you can let them lean like that and show your soaps off really nicely and then I've got some really neat loofah very thin for dishwashing to go with my soap cubes so that'll be really great there's my tooth soap with the bamboo brush will go with that <coughs> excuse me there's my sign that says why do I make soaps and it talks about my alpha gal allergy to get the conversation going and those are a little dollar or less grab baskets so it's coming together nicely I have it all laid out I'm going to use this fake block wall for something and these I'm going to make some room diffusers some nautical scene this is a really cool netting that I'll be wrapping around and gluing to the vessel and then I'll put sand and sea glass and different things in there and some beautiful ocean scent and then I'll also do some winter wonderland and evergreen and pine cones and different things so that'll be a little fun a little bit diverse home and health care so that's my any taskers soap sleeves so I'll have those for sale at a good price I've got uh, several more things that I'm going to do I'm going to be working on some bookmarks today and I will use some of this leftover ribbon from the bows and I'll put a little wax seal with a heart at the bottom then they can simply put the bottom half inside the book and the top half can hang over with that cute little wax seal on it I think that'll be a good use of this leftover ribbon then I have a lot more fabric scraps than this and I think I'm gonna make a garland that's gonna suspend from the threshold from side to side and look nice and vintage and fairy like and rustic so we'll hang that and that'll be appealing I'd like to get some throw rugs for the bottom of the um, entryway as well and just try to polish this all up and have it looking really cute and inviting and then I'm gonna make some feathers out of string and I will think I make some bookmarks with that and hang beads at the end and then maybe also add some of those into the garland so a lot of crafting going on not so much soap making but I should be back on Monday raring to go with recipes for the health store in California that I'm making some soaps for I've reformulated based on the demographic and the climate in those areas and at the beach area and the mountains which is all centered within about a two-hour drive from the desert so I've got a lot of work coming up so I'll be making lots of soap videos four to six of them within the next coming week or two um, and I will bring you in on each one of those creations and make a video for release on that so with that God bless make it a great day sorry I've been missing in action but this is what I've been up to 
and pray for me that I get better. I've been hanging on to this cold for a couple of weeks because I've had a lot going on. Also cleaning out the basement and keeping the property up. It's been wearing on my body for sure. And I could definitely use your prayers and support that way. So with that, God bless. Make it a great day. And thanks for tuning in.